It is on you, upon you. It is your calling, your duty to stand with each other and with common sense and say that accountability cannot drive out the inspiration of arts and music and dance from schools, particularly during tough budget years, when the woes of the recession squeeze out those things that kids need and want more. You see, I am a father. My daughter's 21 years old now, and I never saw, saw her rushing out of the house early in the morning as she, you know, bit the last, uh, you know, piece of bagel as she's heading out the door saying, Dad, I got to go because we started this, uh, this differential equations thing in algebra yesterday, <laughs> and I can't wait to get back to it. Actually, I was thinking about it all night long. I went to sleep with it. I woke up to it, and I can't wait to get back to it. But I did see her many times rushing out early and coming back late because she was involved in arts. It builds and brings dignity to the human existence. It is one of those things that people in distress do not forget. They sing out of happiness and they sing to cure hurt. They sing in weddings and in funerals. They dance in appreciation. They dance in anger. They dance for pleasure. They express. It is as human as breathing. It is as human as crying. It is as human as laughing. And those individuals who do not believe that in a plethora, in an array of colors and pixels that make up our society and our curriculum in schools, that dance is important, then they do not believe or understand what the human spirit is like. You know, one of America's most revered choreographers, Martha Graham, and I, I hate to disagree with those who know more about a specific field than I do, but she said something that I disagree with. She said that dance is the hidden language of the soul. I believe dance is the language of the soul, but it isn't so hidden. <laughs> and because of people like you, and like you, and like you, it cannot be hidden. You shall not allow it to ever be hidden. It will never be behind the curtain. It will always be on the stage of opportunity in front of a curtain for everybody to see it, to experience it, to believe it. Now, folks, I'm not just saying this because I'm speaking to hundreds of dance teachers from across America. <laughs> because if I were to ask my brave, beautiful, inspiring Miami-Dade dance teachers, they will be able to tell you that during the worst years of the recession that we suffered through, this school system, because of our belief in the importance of what you do, never once reduced, eliminated these programs, not dance, not music, not art, not foreign languages, not physical education, the electives never once, because I do not believe that they are electives. They are essential. And in fact, not only did we not reduce them or eliminate them, we increased them. We opened a conservatory of the arts to work alongside the great New World, for, uh, New, uh, <laughs> New World School of the Arts. See again what jet lag does? <laughs> you cannot deprive young people of access, particularly in areas like Miami-Dade where the level of poverty is close to 80%. If they do not have that access here, they will not have that access anywhere. So think of yourselves, my friends, as the, the enablers of hope, the builders of opportunity, the dreamers of reality, a reality you build one child at a time every single day in your studios. You are teaching, but you are creating. You are inspiring and you are liberating. You're building a better tomorrow because of what you believe in today and the courage and the determination you live in your classrooms every single day. 
Let me thank uh, not only you, the teachers, and not only this organization for the recognition that you're bestowing upon me, and I accept it with humility knowing that what I do doesn't compare to what you do. But here's what I'm willing to bet on. What we collectively can do cannot be beat. And it is with that in mind that we, come Monday, go back to these temples of opportunity, to these beacons of, of knowledge and inspiration, and we do it over and over again, but each time slightly different, not ever repeating the same lesson, the same teaching, for a child shall never repeat himself or herself. We look at these children as individual gifts, recognizing that within their minds lies a genius that you have the courage and the skill to drive into an awake state that you do every single day. And for that, you're celebrated by this superintendent.